Hey everyone, this is Scott, your Hoosier Marshal. Here with another video on a Tuesday afternoon. I uh, I missed the last Freedom Friday. <coughs> um, had a lot going on with it being a holiday, but uh, I'll catch up. I'll, I will make uh, the next week's Freedom Friday video. Today, smoking Sutliff's buttered rum <coughs> in the Missouri Meerschaum Country Gentleman. For a cheaper tobacco, this is pretty good stuff. Get it through the new year. I was very uneventful. Stayed home. Worked on New Year's Day. Didn't do anything New Year's Eve. So here we are in 2024. Let's see where this leads us. Today, I thought I would make another uh, slightly, I don't know, political uh, video. And then I'll probably take a break from them for a while. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you folks like these videos or if it pushes you away, scares you off. I don't know. I'm not going to stop making them. I enjoy it. So today I thought uh, I would do a little research about maybe what I wanted to talk about today. And I looked up the definition of a right. A right is a power or privilege held by the general public as a result of a constitution that is what our founding fathers gave us with the constitution that they drafted rights and since we're creating youtube videos and we as this group tend to discuss things I'd like to discuss the fact that uh americans are losing hold of fundamental rights as part of our free country. The right to speak our mind and voice our opinions without fear of being <clears throat> shamed or shunned. I know that we live in a kinder, gentler society than from years past. And I believe that we should be respectful of all. But why should we be afraid to say something that is our honest opinion or our honest view on something? Um, because our world right now has created a situation where they want you to live in fear of of being shamed or shunned or being pushed out or losing your job so a lot of people just don't say what what's on their mind because they would rather bury their head in the sand and uh, not succumb to that So what that has created, in a sense, is a way to take away that right we have to freedom of speech. So, I looked up the definition of freedom. <clears throat> the definition of freedom is the power or right to act, speak, act or speak as one wants without hindrance or resistance. So, if we create a society where people are afraid to say that they truly feel this way or that way because, because there's a fear of being shunned or shamed, um, 
there goes your your freedom and your rights at least one of your rights and <clears throat> if one of your rights can be taken away from you I guarantee you a way can be found to take away another right and another right and another right as uh, Americans and maybe I can't speak for people in other countries uh, but I live here so I think as Americans now, we're understandably confused about what we can say and, and when we can say it. Um, we should be able to put our viewpoints forward, uh, you know, and take a good faith position uh, on what we feel that we stand for without uh, fear of being canceled or shunned. And shame. Uh, you know, they say that freedom of speech is the backbone of a self governed democratic society. And that's very true. But it's only true if there's freedom of speech on both sides, whether you're right or whether you're left, there has to be the same. We can't we can't say, well, I agree with the left, so the right has no opinion that can be spoken. And we can't do it in reverse either, or that defeats the whole purpose, no matter what side of the fence we're on. I also took the time to look up the definition of democracy. Democracy is a system of government in which state power is vested in the people of the general population of a state, which means the people have the power not the government. I think that uh, many people who are leading our country right now are kind of confused about that. I also looked up the definition of independence. Independence is this, the state of wanting to be able to do things for yourself and make your own decisions without help or influence from other people. We're Americans, we want to be independent. We we want to not be pushed and forced to do what our government wants us to do because they think they know that what's best for us. So that makes us an independent, democratic society who values our rights and our freedom of speech. I think that's a damn good thing. I think uh, those of us who are willing to be open and discuss it will prevent those things from being taken away from us. So I just thought it was fitting to bring those definitions into the video today and discuss that. Uh, because like I said, we're, we're all presenters making content on YouTube. We all have we all have views and opinions, and we all want to live our life in the way that we choose. It doesn't matter if other people like it or not. You're never going to make everyone happy all the time. Um, but here we are. We're making videos, and we're putting something out there that we want because, because that's our right, and we have the independence to do so. You know, it was just the other day I saw a YTPC presenter, uh, I guess in his video, he promoted a product and it intrigued me. Uh, this product is a derivative of something that has been illegal in this country for a long time and there's a big push uh, to make it legal. I think you can read between the lines and figure it out. Um, <clears throat> so it intrigued me. So I went to the product uh, website and checked it out. And yeah, they were promoting the product that this presenter, or I guess selling the product that this presenter was discussing and promoting. But they were also... Uh, promoting the the other illegal side of it. In some states it's legal. It's not where I live. 
Um, so that frustrated me. And for a minute, I thought, well, I, I have no interest in this. In, uh, in these videos that this person is doing anymore. But then I told myself, you know, just because I do not agree with it doesn't mean he has to feel the way that I do. And he should be able to present whatever he wants. I just feel that if we don't keep promoting ourselves and promoting promoting our democracy and our independence and uh, our freedom, our freedom of speech, um, we will lose it. But we don't think about that, you know. All of us in this community, we enjoy sitting down, making videos, reading what other people in the community comment about our videos. We enjoy watching their videos and commenting on their videos and then getting a reply from them. Those are all those are all forms of freedom of speech, and if we didn't have that, I don't know. We we live in a communist country where the government told us what we were allowed to make YouTube videos about, and that's all we could ever make YouTube videos about. And you certainly wouldn't be able to sit here uh, doing as I'm doing, or I've seen others do, discussing their feelings about our government. So we just need to, we just need to keep doing what we're doing and, and getting our voice out there and putting our word out there about, about a lot of things that we care about. I can guarantee you if you lived in China or North Korea And you dared try to put out a YouTube video talking about things you don't like about your government. You're going to turn uh, into Jimmy Hoffa really quick. Never to be seen or heard from again. So, I hope I made my point. <coughs> that, you know, we, we need to value our, our independence and our rights and the democracy we have. So we can keep on doing what we're doing. And uh, maybe I can make a few more videos like this and you might actually just watch them. So um, I guess that'll be it for now. I don't want to make this one too long. Someone suggested that I keep my videos a little shorter because um, it keeps people's attention spans. Uh, when you make them too long, people tend to be a little too busy to watch your video. So uh, that's not bad advice. So we'll take it there. So until I decide to sit down and make another video, this is Scott, your Hoosier Marshall, saying thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to be a part of my day. And always make sure you take the time to tell those you love what they mean to you because you never know when it may be too late. Take care.